Hi everyone, it's Debbie from Dare to Date. Now the number one question that singles ask me all the time is where can you meet other singles? Now I did talk about this a little bit in my video last week that single people are literally everywhere we go and you're not always present in your life where we're on our smartphones or you know we're thinking about what we're going to have for dinner. Whereas you can meet someone in the supermarket, you can meet someone in the line for coffee, um, there are more singles in this day and age than ever before. So be a bit present when you're out and about. But the answer to the question, and you're not necessarily going to like it, but you will find more singles than anywhere else online, especially at this time of year. The key dating periods that um, backed up by a lot of research is there are more singles online in December, January than any other time. Mainly because I think at this time of year people feel being single more so than they do at other times of year. So if you want a good chance to meet someone, go online now. And you know, you'll often find people at this time of year that you won't find any other time. So with that in mind, I wanna give you some tips of how to get your profile right. And look, my tips are based on what I've seen work I also review people's profiles and write them for them and give them tips. Looking at a lot of profiles, I can see why people aren't getting the results that they want and it's as simple as getting your profile right. So with that in mind, I want to paint a little bit of a picture, okay? Um, imagine that you're going to sell your house and you didn't bother doing the garden. You didn't bother cleaning up the house before you took the photos or you took a photo from a long way away. Um, what do you think the chances are of people actually wanting to come and see your house? Probably not that great. The same goes for online dating. Your online profile is your ad to the world and it's what gets people interested in you. And the number one thing that people look for is a good photograph. Um, a picture paints a thousand words. So having a good photo that reflects you is really important. Now, I know that a lot of people <clears throat> go on and offline and might use the same profile that they did four years ago. Don't. If you're going online, do a fresh photo and fresh profile that reflects you now. <clears throat> the problem with photos is, if you have a photo online that doesn't look like you and you go on a date, the chances are you're not gonna get a second date if the photos don't match you. So make sure that you have good current pictures. Now women, <clears throat> research says you're more likely to get chosen if you smile. You're also more likely to get chosen if you wear a red dress. Crazy, but it makes you stand out. So you use whatever it takes to make you stand out. Guys, research says that you shouldn't necessarily be smiling, but you shouldn't look grumpy either. Um, hats and sunglasses, don't wear them. You get less, um, responses if you're going to wear a hat or sunglasses we want to see what you look like so if you if we can't see your eyes or we can't see what you look like with a hat you're not going to get so much response the other thing is lose the selfies with no shirt it doesn't work women don't like it same with the selfies with the fish get rid of it now ladies when it comes to your photos guys don't trust glamour photos because again, they're thinking that you're gonna turn up and not look like your photo. So make sure that you get some good recent photos. You also need a full body length photo and do not have pictures with a group of friends. What happens is people try and work out which one you are or they might go, Shit, I wanna date that person rather than this one. So avoid that. Have some photos that paint the things that you love to do, but don't include your kids in the photos. Um, Say if you enjoy kayaking, include a photo of you kayaking. If you, um, whatever you like to do, paint the picture in words. Because what happens, no, sorry, not in words. Paint the picture with your photos. Because what happens is people want to picture themselves in your life. And if the photos match what they like to do, they're more likely to go, okay, this person is someone that I want to meet. Also, when it comes to... I think I said don't have a photo far away because if your first photo, say on Tinder or even online dating, you get a thumbnail and maybe 30 seconds to make that impression before someone will swipe the other way. So make that impression count. 
along with if you're say on a site like RSVP make sure you have an imaginative username and tagline because that's what's going to spark someone's interest don't go with Jono 1982 it shows no imagination you could go with something like wear socks that match and it's a little bit funny and if you're trying to paint the fact that you've got a sense of humor you're showing it rather than telling someone and you know put some time and effort into writing something now number one tips ladies don't write a long profile it's not necessary and honestly you get bored reading it do not have a list of what you don't want you may think that you're trying to rule out people, but you'll rule out the good people as well as the bad people, okay? So try and paint a positive picture of yourself rather than, you know, you've got high expectations. The other thing that is interesting is if you, um, guys want to picture themselves in your life and, and women want to picture yourselves in the guy's life if you have say women have the really expensive car and you have a photo next to that car the guy might think okay I can't keep her she you know our lifestyles don't match I can't make her happy because I don't have enough money it can actually put people off and that that may work if you don't want to date that sort of guy but bear those things in mind when you're choosing the photos that you have and again, when it comes to writing your profile, show, not tell. So don't simply say, I've got a good sense of humor. Tell a funny story. Um, don't just say you're intelligent, write something that shows you're intelligent. That will actually make a difference. And I think because there's so many profiles out there and they're so generic, if you write a well thought out piece that reflects who you are, you'll get more results and um, it's not that hard to do and if you are finding it hard to do just contact us because we'll do it we'll take the hard work out ask you some questions and get you a profile that works now the next thing is is if you're going to go online set yourself some time to go on dates okay don't waste time talking online before you meet because you'll paint up this picture that if you don't like the person it's really difficult so maybe have a few emails back and forth schedule some time in your calendar to actually go on some dates with people rather than just waste the time talking online um, when it comes to the messages get rid of the boring hey or hi write something about the person's profile write something interesting think of the best conversations they're they're a conversation they're not an interrogation is simply relating to someone you can change the results that you get so I know a lot of guys will send a message hi how are you that's boring if a woman's gonna get 50 of those messages you're not gonna stand out whereas if you go hey I really liked um, the picture of you in in the canoe but you didn't look like you were doing a lot of work and make a joke and have a conversation about something where you can start to connect and interact with someone you will get more results um, the other thing is if you have um, people like people with education so if you've got a good education put that in your profile or you know wherever it is put what uni you went to that will increase your your chances there's lots of key words that can use and at the moment food will get you a lot of results if you're a foodie people like that um, one word to avoid at the moment apparently is don't say you're an entrepreneur because people think that's code for someone that's unemployed anyway I think the video is long enough for now so I'll I'll leave it there with any tips but if you want some more advice um, give us a call or send me an email and if you want another amazing place to meet singles we have got a singles party this Friday coming at the Edison we usually get between 80 and 100 people so why not book your ticket Hope to see you soon and good luck with your dating. Thanks for your time. Bye.